Yes, and this is why I bring in some Jenfi, because there were specific issues that you went to the Electoral Commission with, specific answers that you were seeking. And one of the corrective measures, if it was in place, would have been this liveliness check. Now we are hearing that it was because they had a European specification. They didn't start the process with it, which next, then gave the pussy guy and other places that chance to do illegal transfers. That's the explanation. The, the, from the illegal Commission. transfer occurred only in Pusiga, and there were 38 of such transfers, and we have reversed all of them. Okay. Mr. Jenfi. Right. Um, Alfred, you see, this issue is a very, very important issue because it borders on the integrity of the electoral roll, the voters' register, which we all agree is a foundation of free and fair elections. In fact, Mr. Banu Bio has said that producing a credible voters' register, you know, does 60% of the work relative to over the objective, 60%. over 60%, right. relative to the objective of having a free and fair election. So it's a very, very important matter. Now, the issues we in the NDC have raised are very important, very crucial to the integrity of the voters' register we'll be using for the 2024 election. And they are very simple issues for everyone to understand. We don't have to make the issues technical at all. You see, everything Mr. Banu Bio has said here vindicates the NDC's demand for a forensic audit into the voters' register and its IT systems. Everything he has said here. In fact, this, what he has said here is tantamount to a confession of crime. There's a self-incrimination evidence. He has put the matters beyond debate and argument. You see, first of all, the issues we have detected, and let me make it clear to you, voter exhibition is not about detecting illegal voter transfers. Voter exhibition, check CI 91, primarily is for the purpose of giving voters the opportunity to check if their particulars on their voter ID cards have been accurately captured in the voters register. So they go, they show their voters ID card, they check if their names have been spelled correctly, if their details have been spelled correctly, and so on. That is what the exhibition is about. No, no voter has the capacity to detect illegal transfers on the scale we have detected through a voter exhibition exercise. So when you hear the EC argue that, oh, and the whole essence of voter exhibition is so that we can detect errors. And so what the NDC has found is not strange. They are lying to you. Because the errors we are talking about cannot be detected through voter exhibition. No voter has the capacity to detect that 38 people or 243,000 voters have been wrongly added to a register. So we are not talking about mere errors, which are a function of voter exhibition. You see, the EC has been doing voter registration transfer since 1992. This is not a new phenomenon. Okay? And the EC has always maintained, in fact, you made reference to Regulation 22 of CI 127, the latest law that governs transfers. And the law is clear that you can only do voter transfer when the person who wants to transfer his vote is physically sitting in front of you in the EC district office. You can't transfer somebody in absentia. So when we raise issues about illegal voter transfers to Pusiga, the EC swore and said it is not possible because they have the mechanisms to ensure that unless a voter is physically present, he cannot be transferred without his consent. Then we presented them with the evidence. Bear in mind, these are issues that we detected. Our executives in Tamale South detected, not the easy. 
The EC who claim that they have four levels of investigations detecting errors did not detect it. We detected it and they denied initially. When we presented the evidence, they could not deny. Then they admitted and said, oh, we will suspend our district director for Pusiga for engaging in this illegal, unauthorized voter transfer. Okay. In fact, that person suspended is even the wrong person because he knows that the officer responsible for transfer is not the EC district director, but the returning officer. Okay. So but put that aside. Put that aside. Mm -hmm. Now, how did it happen? They now tell you that, oh, it's because we needed to have a liveliness test as part of the transfer process. But we failed or refused or neglected to put in place that liveliness test. What is the liveliness test? Simply put, a system that only allows for transfer when the person transferring his vote is live, mm -hmm. physically present. Mm -hmm. In the case of Pusiga, those people when, never went to Pusiga. A mischievous, fraudulent EC returning officer was able to pick their pictures in the register, showed it to the machine and transferred them illegally. Now these people are now saying that it is after the Pusiga matter happened, after voter transfer had ended, that they have now introduced a liveliness check. Really? Look at this cock and bull story. What is this liveliness test supposed to achieve now? We are done with voter transfer. You have given us a provisional register. So what, you see, you are, you are confessing to either you are crass incompetence or the criminal conduct you have engaged in. Because you needed that liveliness test, which has been in the system, not today. How can you be saying on Alfredo Kansi's show this morning that it was recently that you went and bought a fit for purpose liveliness test system? The one, previous one had European standards. Can you imagine this? So, in what country can this happen? You've been given all the resources to provide a fit for purpose system for registration, for transfer, and everything. You claim that the register we have and the systems leading to same are robust. Yet you are sitting here confessing that as at the time you were doing voter transfer, you did not have a system that could ensure that what the law provides is actually done. You did not have a system that could ensure that only people who were live at district offices were transferred. And that it is after voter transfer has concluded, has been concluded, that you have procured the system. For what exactly? Are you listening to yourselves? For what exactly? Because we are done with voter transfer. So, Alfred, commonsensically, if a, a common EC returning officer or district officer could sit in Pusiga, a border town somewhere in the Upper East region, and transfer 38 people from Tamale to Pusiga without the people knowing, can you honestly tell me that that was all they did in terms of those illegal transfers? He's here telling us that they have done their checks. That is the only place it happened. Really? Why should we take your word? Why should we believe that that is the only place that those illegal transfers happened? Because you could not have even detected it. Because according to your own word, you did not have the system to detect it. You did not have a liveliness system. What are you talking about? But not just that. Look, we are saying that because of what happened in the case of Pusiga, we must have an, a forensic audit. Let me demystify the, that term forensic audit. What are we talking about? We are talking about all political parties nominating IT experts and people who are well versed in the systems for our voters register to sit with reps of the EC to investigate because the register is in an encrypted IT system. And it is only through such an investigation that we can know those who have entered the EC's register mm -hmm. and whether or not they entered those registers, those, the register at the right time and with authorization yeah. because the system mm -hmm. will have the footprints of mm -hmm. all those entries. Mm -hmm. Every electoral management body must be interested in being a fair umpire that all stakeholders have confidence in. So it is in the interest of every electoral management body to be transparent so that stakeholders can have confidence in you. You should even be happy that we are calling for such an exercise, such an investigative exercise, because 
if what you are saying is true, that you have corrected all errors and that the register is robust, what an investigative or audit process will show is in, that indeed you have done your work and we will all clap for you. Once you see an electoral management body denying media men from telecasting live their engagement with a political party who have raised issues about the credibility of a register. Once you see an electoral management body desperately trying to prevent an investigation into their work, into the credibility of a register that he says has more than 60% bearing on the, on the credibility of the elections we are going to have, then you know that they have something to hide. You should know that they, they are afraid of something. Look, we have taken time, and in fact, it's an ongoing process, and we are in, thoroughly investigating, probing the provisional register we have been given. We've realized that aside the Pussyga incident, 3,957 voters who registered in 2023 for this 2024 elections, 3,957. Okay, these were people who registered in 2020, sorry. Their names are in the 2020 register. They have all been deleted from the 2024 provisional register. All of them deleted. The EC wow. says that they, they wrongfully, and there this is nothing like wrongful. It's an, it's an inadvertent. No, 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 listen to it too. They say that they, wrong, they wrongfully, but the right word is illegally, transferred those 3,957. When they wanted to restore them back to the register, they say that they mistakenly deleted them. So when we went, we gave them an example. One name, somebody who registered at Tessano, who has been deleted from the register. If he was in the meeting, he can attest to the fact that their IT consultant disp disputed that fact and said it is not true, it is not possible. He searched his system and said, the guy is in the register. Where is he? Then we asked, so where is he in the register? Which police station? He mentioned a police station in Vota region. The Tessano person. Tessano person. He can attest to that. He can't deny it. So we said then this problem is even bigger than we think. So that's number one. 3,957 people. And like I told you, the investigation is ongoing. This list is not exhaustive. Then the transfer list is supposed to have only voters who transferred their votes in 2023 for the 2024 election. Mm -hmm. That figure is supposed to be around 300,000. The register they have given us, the figure is more than 500,000. It is bloated by 243,000. The transfer between 2023? Yes, no. You see, for every election, voters are allowed to transfer their votes to their new places of abode, okay? Mm -hmm. If they have resided there for 12 months preceding the election That's and so forth. Mm -hmm. So the transfer lists for the election must contain the names of those who transferred their names for purposes of the 2024 election alone. And mm -hmm. those people, the, their total number is around 300,000. The EC gives us a transfer list or register with over 500,000 names. We check and the number is bloated by 243,000 and they have admitted. That's what is on the screen. Yes, they have admitted to it. All right. Then, there are 2,094 other names we have found. This is, these figures are as at the time we met them. People whose names have been transferred, they transferred their votes in 2024. Their names accurately captured in the transfer list. But the law is that once they have transferred their votes from police station A to B, and their names are in the transfer list for police station B, at police station A, where they transfer their votes, their names must be captured in a list called absentee voters list. Mm -hmm. So that when you go to their original police stations, you will find their names in the absentee list. They are no longer there. Mm -hmm. These 2,094 voters, their names are not in the absentee list. Their names are not in there. They are not there. Then there's another 15,000. All these figures, not as exhaustive. Whose names are in the transfer list? And the transfer list, when you pick it, it's supposed to tell you that Professor Jampu transferred his vote from University of Ghana to UPSA. The path must be there. Mm -hmm. This 15,000, you check the transfer list, it doesn't tell you where they were transferred from. Why? Because their offices 
who are being controlled by the new patriotic party sat in offices and did the illegal transfers like it happened in the case of Pusiga. So they could not capture the path where they were transferred from and where they have been transferred to. So, I mean, wait, did, now, you, did you discuss these? All of them presented. Animated. Yes, because, but of course you can't pr pr project 243 names, 43,000 names. These issues so we gave them for every category, we gave them five examples here, okay. 10 examples here no, and no, all that. No, no, no. We presented, no, it was not one. And in fact, our director of election has put out a PowerPoint presentation. The examples, in some cases, 10. These 3,000, and 957 people, I'll share the document with you. We put out their ID cards. The whole 2020 ID cards, their names are not in the register. Then you know what they told us. They said, oh, we cry. We have already seen these problems. Well, and we, have, we have corrected all of them. Mm -hmm. But give us your data and we, we, we will check it. Then we say, okay. Our investigation is an ongoing process. Because bear in mind, they gave us, they, because they knew what they have done, they gave us the provisional register at the 11th hour, a day to the exhibition, so that we will not have any time and opportunity to probe it. They waited, waited, and gave it to us at the 11th hour. So we said, okay, if you claim you have identified all these problems and you have corrected them, give us the corrected version of the register, which you have not exhibited. And let us go and check if our concerns have been corrected. Matter ends. Because... You can't say that you have corrected something and you want us to believe it when we have not seen it. You have not given the corrected register to the political parties and you have not exhibited it. They say, okay, give us your... We say, no problem. We will give you our data and everything we have found and we will find even after that meeting. But we will only give it to you when we set up this body to do this forensic audit. Because... You cannot trust the same people who did the illegal transfers in the first place mm. to correct their mess. They can say we are correcting it and spend three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. They will bring you a register. You will now find that they have actually worsened the problem. What will be our remedy then? Because the doors would have been closed for any such audit. So this is the time. Come to the table. Mm -hmm. Our IT experts will be there, your IT experts will be there, all the political parties, our IT experts will be there. We bring our evidence, okay? Mm -hmm. You bring your corrections. We probe everything. But more importantly, we probe your IT systems to know the safety protocols. Who is authorized to enter? Yeah. When can the person enter? How did these things happen? Because under Afarijan, under Charlotte say, you could not, not even the EC chairperson could enter the database without STL's permission. Mm. Those were the days of STL. Yeah. Now they have sacked STL. And even district officers can sit in the confines of their office and do illegal transfers. And you say, give it to us. We will go and correct it. How is that possible? So that's why you cannot be a judge data. in your own course. If Charlotte was say in 2016, in response to demands by let my vote count, and Dr. Bawumia for an audit into the register because according to them, 76,000 Togolese had their names in the register. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Osei didn't brush it aside. He didn't say that we are independent, so we will not let anybody investigate us because she had nothing to hide. We set up the Justice VCRAC Crab Committee. Mm -hmm. All the political parties had representatives there. Yabuabia Samoa can attest to that. And we went into the issues. You understand, you guys, are jeopardizing the peace, stability, and democracy of this country. You come so, in, we are paying you with our taxes. We have given you all the money you need to run the system, to give us a credible register. And you come and sit here and tell us, 84 days to a crucial national election, that you didn't have liveliness test. What you had was European standard. You have now gone to buy a new one. For what? For what? So, Masa, this thing is a very serious matter. L let nobody deceive you that the NDC is not willing to share its data with the EC. If today the EC says, okay, let's do the forensic audit, all political parties, they can even bring a company with that expertise. And UD UNDP is ready to fund it. Okay? Let us do this audit. It can, in one week, we are done. All the political, everything is clear, everybody sees it. We are willing to share it with them. So, so this forensic audit you're asking for has the component of all representatives of exactly. the political parties. Yeah. The political exactly. Parties all and in any case, ask them, if, for example, 
you see, subject what the EC is telling you, you that are, are watching, subject what they are saying to common sense. An electoral management body says it is not possible for illegal transfers to be done. Now it has happened. They have admitted. Now they say that we have corrected all the errors. Should they, they, shouldn't they actually be the ones calling us to come for the correct version? To allay our fears? to get us to have confidence in them and to trust them, shouldn't they be inviting us? Come, come. We have corrected the thing. Come and take the correct version. Is that not the right thing any fair-minded commission would do? Why is it that we have given them an empty drive, hard drive? We gave it to them the day we met them. Give us your correct version. The corrected register. With nobody has seen except them. You Today, they right. have not given it to us. And they say, bring us your issue. We will give those issues, the evidence, the facts, and everything to that bipartisan body that will be put in place to order the register. Because we don't trust that you will do the necessary corrections, and we don't want to waste time so that by the time we detect that the problem has even become bigger, there is no remedy for us. Right. But you say, and in any case, finally, let me make the point that we actually show them the methodology we use to identify all these problems. We simply compared the 2023 voters register, which they gave us. The 2023 register is an updated version of the 2020 register. 2020 register for the 2020 elections mm -hmm. and the limited registration we did after. That is what gives you the 2020 register. So we simply extracted that and compared it with the 2024 register, and we found all those things. And we showed them the software for it. So it is something that they themselves can even do. And then you come and sit here, we've corrected, well, we've corrected. Where is the evidence that you have corrected? So, so, that, 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 so that's what you're asking for. So if, the, if, that, if the corrections we, have been we, we bought, We have now bought you, timeliness you, tests. You, you, yeah, yes. Is that, to if do the, if the corrections After you have done the illegal transfers. Wait, if the corrections have been in the, 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 corrected, you want that as evidence. And and, Dr. Jato, no, I'll come to you. Five seconds. Uh, 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 no, hold on. No. You, Did you, you listen to Samuel Tete? We'll come to that. Insult we'll, we'll, all of us. We'll, we'll come to that. that. In 2016, we'll, 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 hold on to that, that point. Samuel Tete was director we'll, for electoral we'll, services we'll, like we'll, Mr. Banu Bill we'll, is, is today. Mr. Jeffrey, there were trees and animals on the we'll, register. We'll, we'll, we'll come to and that matter. And the NDC did not talk about it. We'll come to that matter. So what they are doing now. The reason why the reason why I reserved that for 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 the next part of the conversation. We'll come to that. 